probably have brought the Kubota all the way down there. The Guadalupe River. And there's the neighbor's boat. Because there's little bank access, they don't care. They let us fish from the boat. If I don't fall in the water and drop my GoPro. All right, guys, we're down here at the Guadalupe River. It's a beautiful morning. It's about 9 a.m. We're just gonna fish with some chicken liver around all these laydowns. There's logs, sticks everywhere. And uh, let's make our first cast. Let's get it out there. We're gonna also throw around with a lure while we wait for the chicken liver to either work or not work. So there's something messing with the float. Let's see if we can get catch him. Catch him. Look, there it goes. See it? See it? See it taking off? And we're hooked up. We're hooked up to something. Ha <laughs> gar. We're hooked up to another gar. On chicken liver. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look at that gar. Drop a comment if you know what kind of gar this is. I think it's a small alligator gar. Maybe a short nosed gar? He's not nearly as, uh, his, his, his snout is not nearly as long as that other one we caught yesterday. Look at all those teeth, though. Look at all those teeth. That's amazing. Yeah, we... There we go. Check him out. Hello. How are you? They're quite docile, actually, once you get them on the shore. Uh, he wasn't docile then. Yeah, Got another bite. I assume it's a gar. It's taken off with it. Let's land it. Oh yeah, we're on. We're on. We're on. Oh, it's catfish. <laughs> catfish. Yeah, he didn't bite like that gar. The guard just played with it and it ran a little ways. This guy just took it. It's a small one. Ah! Okay, you're getting mess all over Billy's boat. It's a small channel catfish, but we've already got three bites and two fish and we caught a gar yesterday. I'll, I'll show you the little video of a gar we caught actually on a lure yesterday evening before we came down here while we were taking the dogs on a walk. Look at this, Peta. Look. Look at this gar. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this guy. That is cool. Let me get the hook out of his mouth. I'll come back to you. Look at this, guys. Look at this. That thing's four foot long. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. <laughs> Check out that, that prehistoric creature. That was cool. There we go. There's the bottom, watch. Little channel catfish. It's a beautiful spot though. Oh, there it goes. It's going under. It's going under. Let's reel down to it. Oh, 
Oh, I hope you all saw that. It came right at our face. Oh. And it's already gone. It's already under, right on that current edge. We're gonna let it run for a second. All right, we're hooked up. I let him take it uh, just a little tiny bit longer. Another catfish. There we go, buddy. I mean, they're not massive, but they're fun to catch. Hey. <laughs> Nice. Little eater sized channel cat. Mm -hmm. We might have gotten one on this one. I don't see the bobber. I don't see the bobber. Let's reel down. I feel the fish, and we're hooked up. Nice. Seems like the fish are concentrating on this current edge. A little slack water here. The current's coming this way from left to right. And almost all the bites have come right near that current edge. Oh, a nicest catfish so far. Chicken livers in the house. There you go, back in the water. Oh, there it goes. Something's getting after it. See the bobber? Watch the bobber. Let him take it, reel down to it. And we're hooked up, got one. Oh, that's the nicest fish. It's another gar, I think. I think it's, an, oh yeah, it is. Stay out of my other line. Oh, he's off. So it's just getting too hot. Um, it's about 10.45 in the morning. The temp's already way up. So we're gonna go back to the house. Got some work to do, take a shower, eat lunch. I'll probably come back out the same spot um, this evening when it's cooling off. Maybe we can uh, catch some more fish. So we'll see you in a few hours. Apparently this huge grasshopper wants to take, get clean. He's in the washing machine. Huge grasshopper. I might catch a few of those for bait later. All right, guys, we are back at the uh, river. It is the evening of the first part of this video. Um, it just got too hot this morning and the bite kind of died off. It's about 6.30 p.m. We got about two hours of daylight. Guadalupe River near Cuero, Texas on the Gulf Coast. It's an absolutely beautiful place. It's hot as balls, but you know. I like to fish the shade over there, but I can't get to it. Anyway, so we brought multiple baits. We did bring night crawlers, we brought pork steak, and we brought chicken livers. We should be able to catch something with those. Let's get set up. Get We're getting going. a bite. We're getting a bite on the chicken livers. Bobber's under. Line's moving. Reel, reel down to it and set the hook. Oh, we're hooked up. It feels like a decent fish. I see the bobber. What do we got? What do we got? Catfish or gar? Oh, catfish. Nice. And the lucky hat stays lucky. Again, just like this morning, we're fishing this little eddy right here. There's this little slack water with some down trees, the current's out there in the middle, and it kind of just a slow eddy right there. Liver. Thanks, sir. The worm bobber just went under. And we got one. That's not a perch. I was hoping to get perch for cut bait. Catfish? No, a big old freshwater drum. Look at that guy. Wow. Look at that guy. Wow. 
That's a cool fish. Alright, we don't have a net. I don't want to break the line. There we go. Alright, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. Look at this fish. Big old freshwater drum. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Oh, 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 I'm gonna let you go. Caught on a little piece of a uh, worm. I was trying to catch a perch for. Really? Okay, I'm gonna do this as long as you can. We were trying to catch a, a bluegill or a perch for cut bait. We got this nice guy. Beautiful fish. I'm gonna let you go, man. There it goes. It's going against the current. See it? See the bobber? Taking off. Oh, that's on. That's on. That's a gar. Oh, we broke the line. Pooch. Keep an eye on that bobber. Okay, this bobber's gone under. And we're hooked up over here. <laughs> here we go. Right on this. Oh, don't get around that stump. Nice little catfish. That's on the chicken liver again. So far, the most productive bait today. Okay, thank you. Yeah! That's definitely a bite. Reel down, and we're on, we're on. Pork steak. Right out. Is that a catfish? Yes, it is. <laughs> a pork steak catfish. Wow. Pork steak catfish. Not a big fish, <laughs> but it's cool. We, we're catching fish from meat from the fridge. This is cool. Uh, uh. All right, guys, let's go and do it for this adventure. So, bank fishing with crazy baits from the fridge pays off. Kind of a two part thing. We fished in the morning a couple hours, in the evening for a couple hours. It's just too hot during the day, and I have to work. Um, we caught. Uh, Two kinds of gar, spotted gar, long nose gar, we caught freshwater drum, we caught channel catfish. We had a good time. We'd appreciate it if you'd like, subscribe, you know, you know where they are. And um, drop us a comment, let us know what you thought about the video and what's the craziest bait you've ever caught a fish on. We caught a fish on a piece of pork from the freezer. So, I mean, whatever we have to do, right? So, stay adventurous, see you on the next one. Fighting. We're gonna stay away from them. Go on now. Get.